They're some of the most recognizable statues in Auburn. Some are small, some weigh as much as a blue whale, and others stand taller than a school bus on end. And this one, well, this one is completely naked. So you just decided to let it all hang out there? Yes. Yeah. These are the great concrete statues of Auburn, and this is Dr. Kenneth Fox. That little guys like me, we do large things. Big guys, they do little pen and ink. Dr. Fox doesn't have his doctoral in art or sculpting. No, no. In Ken's younger years, he was a dentist. Oh, we started these probably they run from 1970 to 76. This is Ken's son, Curtis Fox, who's also a dentist. Uh -huh. For the middle, we had to throw cement up underneath. Really? That, that was his job. Fucking <laughs> up there? Or? Yeah. The statue creations were a family affair. Ken drilled cavities during the day and got his four kids to help him with the statues on nights and weekends. Some people didn't like these? Oh. Yes. The buses. The, the, the <laughs> okay, then I put that up there, nude woman. They stopped the school buses from coming by here. The 1970s were a different time. When Ken's nude statues were finished, it created a little controversy in town. But his statues actually tell a mythical story. It's the legend of the Amazon warriors and the Amazon society, and it's in Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, the Amazons were a race of warrior-like women. The women were the leaders, not the men. And that's something Ken could relate to. Well, I was married and I had a wife who was very strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I did not want to say that. The city of Auburn eventually accepted Ken's statues. He was even commissioned to create several more around town, including the Claude Channing gold mining statue near Interstate 80 and the Chinese Cooley statue at the Gold Rush Museum. How long do you think this will last? I don't know, maybe 200 years. <laughs> Well, because in 50 years, you can't even see any change. Ken's statues were strong. He has over a mile and a half of steel in this one. Strong enough to stand up to whatever ridicule came his way. My dad called me up and he says, why didn't I put a loincloth on my statue? The 92-year-old dentist turned sculptor has always been true to his art. Ken's statues are bold and meant to make people think. So. He's breaking the chains of bondage, and that, that's in reference to, to what? Fighting for his freedom. It could be restrictions that society put on you. It could be restrictions of your family. It could be restrictions from your own mind and fears. So I guess this, this art right here, this is sort of up to interpretation? Absolutely. Yes. From the well-sculpted streets of Auburn, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. Well, if you like that crazy story, check out more videos just like it. Also, write in the comments what else I should be checking out. You can click right here. Yeah, go. Yeah, it's real easy. Click it. I'm, I'm going to wait for it. Just click it.